In today's video, I want to share with you the evolution of Neo PowerSwap. First, let's get oriented. First generation PowerSwap is on the top left. Then we go clockwise around your screen. Generation two, top right. Third generation, bottom right. 4.0, bottom left. I recognize that this may be disorienting, but bear with me if you can. In the last four years, NEO has iterated and improved on their PowerSwap station, as you'll see in this video, as well as dramatically increased the size of their PowerSwap network. First, let's look at the PowerSwap stations themselves. In the first generation, the driver and all passengers were required to exit the vehicle. The car was then parked by the NEO staff member who manned the station. The car was then lifted, the battery removed by this robot, then replaced by a new battery. The first generation was not autonomous in any way. Staff members were required to park the car, they pushed buttons on the side of the station to begin the swap, and they drove the car out. While at the time it was fast and mind-blowing to be frank, it was also quite cumbersome. Customers needed to stand in the sun or the rain during the swap, and there were only five batteries per station, meaning that batteries were often not fully charged when you needed one, leading to longer wait times. The actual swap time was right around five minutes, as you can see, not accounting for handing the keys over, letting staff operate the swap and park the car, etc. The second generation was a big improvement. It removed the need for exiting the car. It also introduced automatic parking and fully autonomous stations. When generation two stations were first introduced, they were manned by a NEO staff member, but after a handful of stations went into fully autonomous beta testing, eventually they all became fully automated in China. As you can see from this video on the top right, the time was also right around five minutes for the actual physical swap of the battery. If you add on the parking time, you start to get closer to six minutes. The second generation battery swap stations increased the battery capacity from five to 14. Third generation stations in the bottom right, they increased flexibility and improved the speed of the power swap. Now, more makes and models, including the Neo sub-brand Envo, as well as other OEMs, are able to swap their batteries at Neo power swap stations. The third generation went from 14 to now 22 batteries in the battery hotel, and the time of the swap, including parking, was significantly reduced to a little over four minutes. Finally, the newest fourth generation station has begun to roll out across China, including time for parking. The physical swap during my test took three minutes and 40 seconds, and I rolled out of the station at about four minutes exactly. This station is even more flexible. It holds 23 batteries and has introduced LiDAR to speed up parking, and can accommodate even more makes and models. Speaking of which, Envo just demonstrated swapping at 4th gen NEO stations in about two and a half minutes. It remains to be seen how fast it will be in the real world, but that's pretty dang quick. The 4th generation station has also removed the need for the white box painted on the ground in front of the station, meaning the station can now be used while covered in snow. Additionally, the 3rd and 4th generation both allow power swap on pilot at select locations, meaning you're able to leave your car and use the restroom or grab food or just stretch your legs while your car autonomously drives to the swap station, changes its battery, and then exits the swap station and parks itself in an empty spot. All of these changes just show how fast China and NEO is able to move, improve, and iterate. The power swap experience has only improved over the past four years or so, but what will they do next? I'm sure 5.0 will bring even more improvements. Now that's all well and good, but what if there aren't enough stations about that? When I picked up my NEO in April 2021, there were, I think, six stations in Shenzhen. Now here's the power swap station map of Shenzhen. Zoom out a bit. Here's the entire Pearl River Delta region and zoom out some more. Here is China. In total, about 2,500 stations are now across the entirety of the country. But what about Europe? Currently, they aren't moving at China speed, but progress is being made. There are 50 stations in Europe as of now and hopefully some further expansion coming soon into other countries, maybe say France or the UK or Spain. I'd also imagine that a lot of European users would like to see 24 seven operations at the power swap stations, but I guess for some reason, Europe hasn't quite figured that out yet. I'm not sure why. And finally, I just wanna say that if you're an investor, you're overseas, you have never been to China, you've never driven a NEO, you're not a user, well, it might not be obvious where the R&D or the infrastructure spending actually goes and what the benefits of that spending actually are. I say this because I look at my comments, I look at the comments on other NEO videos and people complain. But let me be clear, as a NEO user, it is obvious how much better the experience is now compared to where it was just three or four years ago. It's faster, it's more comfortable, it's more automated. Everything about the power swap experience is better. There's more stations, they're everywhere. Something like 90% of users live within three kilometers of a station it's just like going to a gas station. And that's the goal of NEO. They always say a battery swap station is the equivalent of a gas station. Now a gas station actually has Snickers bars. So NEO is still just off by a little bit, but I'm sure they'll get there eventually. If you are a user in China or in Europe, what has been your experience with power swapping? Let me know in the comments. 
I would love to hear from you. Goodbye.